You already know the basic multiplication and division facts for all digits except one. It's 7. In this lesson, you'll learn to multiply by 7. In earlier lessons, you've learned to use number patterns to help you learn the basic facts. But there aren't any patterns with the number 7 that help us. That's why you're learning these last. The best way to learn the facts with 7 is to use the patterns you've learned with the other digits. For example, we'll use the pattern for multiplying by 2 here. To multiply 7 by 2, you add 7 to itself and you get 14. So 7 times 2 equals 14. To multiply 7 by 3, you start with 2 times 7, which is 14, and add 7 to get 21. To multiply 7 by 6, you start with 21. You double it and get 42. Now, 7 times 4. First, we double 7 and get 14. Then, we double 14 and get 28. To multiply 7 times 8, we double 28. And we get 56. Here's 7 times 5. We use the pattern for multiplying by 5. 5 times 6 is 30. And we add a 5 because 7 is an odd number. Now, 7 times 9. The digit in the tens place of the answer is 1 less than 7, so it's a 6. The second digit is the number we add to 6 to get 9, so it's 3. Here's the only other problem, 7 times 7. For this one, there is no helpful pattern. You just have to remember it. 7 times 7 is 49. In the rest of this lesson, you'll practice multiplying by 7. If you don't remember the answer, use one of the patterns you've learned for multiplying by other numbers.